Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Zaitun Sapa from Faculty of Plantations and Agro Technology, University of Technology Mara, Malaysia. So today I'm going to share my research findings and this research entitled Trichoderma Asparilums as a biological control agents against black rot disease in pineapple variety MD2. So introductions, uh, we know that pineapple is a tropical fruit with a sweeter taste, vibrant tropical flavors, contain numerous uh, health benefits. In terms of the world production, pineapple is ranked number two after mango. In Malaysia, we produce yearly about 350,000 metric tons and we do export to many countries. And in terms of the production of pineapple, it could be hampered by several factors and disease is one of them. Several common diseases could attack pineapple and cause a huge losses to the yield. And one of them is black rot disease caused the pathogenic fungus, Theopsis paradoxa. It's a well-known um, reported post-harvest diseases, a post-harvest disease. Uh, it can cause a huge losses to the pine in the pineapple industry. The pathogens enter to the entry point that, uh, for example, example, wound, uh, a bruise, natural openings, micro cracks on the fruits, um, skins, or the, also on the uh, ped uh, peduncle. During the uh, harvesting, before harvest, it also can cause a disease and also after harvest, especially at the cut end of the peduncle. So the pathogens enter and cause the watery, soft decay and disintegrated uh, flesh tissues, uh, flesh fruits tissue. So these are photos of the pathogens grown on the PDA and also the microscopic pictures of the pathogens under light microscope. If you can see that we have the several types of the two types of the uh, spores, um, sorry, conidia. Uh, these are paleoconidia and also the alio. Uh, Leuroconidia and also chlamydia spores. This structure used for the identifications of the pathogens. And then this photo shows that uh, the infected fruits uh, with the watery what, uh, what, water lesions and decays um, and also disintegrated it means that the fruits cannot be eaten. All right, so uh, there is a few types of there is a several methods for controlling the disease, um, but uh, some of the methods, for example, like um, chemical is very dangerous. Uh, so we try to use the biological control approach using the trichoderma asparilum. Since the trichoderma asparilum is known as the uh, good um, biological control or has a huge potential, has been reported, um, even if it's not uh, as a trichoderma asparilum, but trichoderma species uh, has been widely reported as a biological, biological control through the microparasitism activity because they could uh, they able to produce several uh, hydrolytic enzyme to digest to kill the pathogen. So in this uh, study, we used the dual culture test just to screen the activity of the trichoderma asparilums against the pathogens. We used dual culture test. Uh, this is a method that we uh, we conducted in the lab. Uh, we used this uh, potato detrus agar. We placed the uh, pathogens and under the plate, we placed the pathogens and the opposite sides. So we put the uh, trichoderma asparilums and we keep in the uh, at the incubate at the 28 degrees and uh, for four days after that we measure uh, the, the the radius of the the myceliums as a T uh, R1 and R2 so we use the we calculate for the percentage inhibitions ready growth by the of the pathogens by the uh, trichoderma asparilums using this formula so R1 minus R2 divide R1 multiply 100 so uh, besides that we also conduct the experiments on using on the fresh fruits so we have five treatments and we use 90 uh, experimental unit or these uh, fresh uh, pineapple variety MD2. So we have five treatments, uh, enucleate with the pathogens alone without anything, so only these two water as a control. We keep with the uh, trichoderma aspirilums at the control also, and T4 and T5 we, serve, uh, we use as the treatment to as a curative and preventive. Um, first, uh, we put the uh, we enucleate with the trichoderma, uh, sorry, with the pathogens, and then and after four hours, we enucleate with the um, uh, trichoderma asparilla. 
And 45, uh, this uh, opposite, uh, this uh, other way, uh, trichoderma aspergillum first, and then after that with the uh, pathogen. So, okay, these are uh, the example, these are uh, photos shows that uh, the first is a healthy one, uh, this one after inucleate with the trichoderma aspergillus with the, uh, the concentration that we use is 10 power 9, uh, calling for me unit per meal. And then we are dipping um, and um, you, according to the treatments, and then we use the agar plot of the, the pathogens to inoculate the pathogens. Okay, so the experiments, uh, all the inoculated fruits being incubated in the separate container and arranged in the complete randomized design for, for, for 10 days. And then every two days, we collect the fruits and do the observations to calculate for the disease severity and also a percentage of disease severity index based on the formula and also based on skill and also formula by Robach and Johnson's 2003. This is a rating uh, used to uh, measure the uh, infected area and we are uh, using the um, formulas to calculate the, the the total the severity and then after that we also do calculation we did the calculations for the AUDPC which is area under disease progress curve and also disease uh, reduction um, for the or for the treatments. All right, uh, so the result, it shows that uh, PRG value is very high, it's 98%. So it's indicated it's very good in terms of the inhibitions of ready growth of the pathogens. Uh, meanwhile, for the, the second experiment, so we noticed that uh, day two, there is a high disease uh, in the pathogens alone. And uh, quite um, as compared to the, the, the treatment one, treatment Four and treatment five, it shows about 33%. This means that the, pat the, the pathogens are able to infect the, 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 the fruits. And then if after uh, day four, at the day four, we can see that the disease is keep increased. And uh, however, the T5 is keep uh, lower as compared to the T4 and T5, uh, T1 and T4. And day six, uh, we can see that the curative treatment is no longer effective to control the disease. Um, uh, the then a uh, day tens, uh, so both uh, treatments T1 and T1, uh, T4, T1 and T4 is has the um, the, the fruit is totally been infected by the pathogens, but preventive is still able to uh, keep the disease uh, uh, 67%. Uh, so this is a photo, it shows that if you can see that it's a 10, one, day, uh, 10 uh, sorry, day 10th, uh, the, the, the fruit is totally uh, gone uh, in day, T1 and T4, which is uh, pathogens alone and also the curative treatments. Uh, however, the preventive is still able to keep the disease uh, low. However, is not totally uh, prevent the, the, the fruits from the infection. Uh, with the disease reduction is only 40%. It shows that um, as a conclusion in terms of the in vitro screening, so we can see that it's a very promising. Um, could able to inhibit the pathogens. However, in uh, fresh fruits, the is not uh, effective uh, because it only can reduce forty percent of the disease. Um, maybe this one uh, we have we can need, we need to do the improvement in terms of the formulation because in this study we just use the spore in water. So and also probably we can enhance things the the, effic the efficacy of the biological control by combining so, or applications uh, many times maybe uh, during the pre harvest and also the post harvest. So uh, more research uh, need to be uh, need to be uh, done to improve the efficacy of this uh, biological control. That's all for me. Thank you so much.